this is Tumelo and in today's video what I want to talk about is how to get a girl to invest more into a conversation okay how to get her to invest more into the conversation because investment is very very important it's such a key idea and there's many ways you can get a girl to invest into an interaction there's many forms of investment okay there's physical investment there's verbal investment there's emotional investment there's time investment social money investment there's a whole lot of forms of investment but specifically what i want to talk about in this video is verbal investment how to get her to verbally invest more into the conversation okay and i'm going to be sharing with you two main techniques in order to be able to do that okay now what you'll get in this video is why you want her to invest more into the conversation in the first place okay also some do's and don'ts when it comes to verbal investment and getting her to invest into the conversation what you should be doing what you shouldn't be doing okay and a lot of mistakes that guys are making okay and this is very very important before we actually get into the actual techniques and then obviously finally what i'll get into is the two main techniques that i want to share in this video as to how to get her to invest more into the conversation two physical techniques and i'm going to share these techniques towards the end of the video okay now these techniques are powerful these are the techniques that i use myself when i want to get a girl to invest more verbally into the conversation and techniques that i share with my students and if you haven't done so already please click that subscribe button next to the subscribe button is a notification bell click on the notification bell because that will always keep you updated with all the latest videos and content that i'm going to be sending out to you so why do you want her to invest more into the conversation because the more she invests in the conversation is the more she's going to associate more value to the interaction okay more investment equals more value okay and value equals attraction so the more value she's associating to you and the interaction the more she's going to be attracted to you okay the more she cares about this interaction and where it's going to end up okay it's the same as i'm a trader okay that's what i do as my main profession it's my main source of income okay that's what i do to make money so when i trade <clears throat> i put money on the line or i invest money in a single trade okay and if i had two trades that i take okay i've got one where i've invested a hundred dollars okay and i've got another trade where i've put in a thousand dollars okay i'm going to be more interested and i'm going to care more about the trade where i've put in a thousand dollars because I've invested more money in that trade. So I'm going to I'm I'm going to care more about the outcome of that trade versus the one where it's just $100. Who cares if I lose $100? But if I lose 1000, okay, because I invested more, I'm going to care more about the positive outcome of that trade. So as you can see, the more you invest into something, the more you care about its positive outcome, okay? That's why you want to to invest more. Now, here's the key thing with value Okay, and this is very, very important. The key thing with values, look, as I said, investment, more investment equals more value. But now the thing with value is, value is directly proportional to investment. Okay, and what I mean by this is, if she does not believe that you have any value to begin with, then she is not going to invest into that interaction or that conversation. Okay, versus if she believes that you do have a certain amount of value, in her eyes then she will more likely invest into that conversation okay it's the same as the beggar versus the warren buffett example okay if a beggar walks up to you and says hey bro let's sit down let's have a conversation let's chat about life okay you're going to be like listen i don't have time for this or get the fuck out of here i'm not going to talk to you who the hell are you okay versus if warren buffett came up to you and said listen bro um I really want to meet you you seem like a cool guy um let's sit down let's have a conversation let's have coffee you'll be like yes please let's have coffee let's have uh freaking starters let's have main let's have dinner let's have lunch let's have a whole holiday let's have a whole week let's spend the whole week together and get to know each other yes please let's do this okay tell me about where i should put my money okay if warren buffett came up to you and said listen bro 
um, there's this investment that I've just found it's gonna make a lot of money okay give me some money okay you're not gonna give him a hundred dollars you're gonna give him ten thousand dollars you'll give him you give him the most amount of dollars that you can because you believe that Warren Buffett has value and that whatever he says, you are willing to take as gold, okay? So if she does not believe or she does not see that you have value in her eyes, she will not invest into that conversation at all, okay? That's why in the beginning, you want to focus on in increasing your value in her eyes. You want to focus on showing her that you are a high value male because that's going to in turn get her to invest more into the conversation so be very very careful if the girl isn't investing in the conversation it's more likely to do with the idea that you do not have value in her eyes so if she's not investing in the conversation then, then what you want to do is you want to increase your value okay and there's a lot of techniques to do that so I'm not, this video isn't about increasing your value it's about um, investment but Go back and increase your value. Focus on techniques that will increase your value in her eyes. Now, to get her to invest more in the conversation, first things first, okay? And first things first is in order for her to invest in the conversation, okay, you need to give her room to invest in the first place, okay? The biggest mistake guys make when it comes to getting a girl to invest in the conversation, okay, or getting a girl to invest in the interaction as a whole, is they are not giving her the room to do so, okay? How can she invest in the conversation if you are the only one that's talking, okay? You're the only one that's talking. You're not giving her space to talk. Every time she tries and talks, you cut her off and you keep talking more and more and more and more okay to the point where it's just you talking like how can she invest how can she talk more okay how can she add more into the conversation if you do not give her the room okay so first things first is to get her to invest more give her the space to invest in the first place give her room okay <laughs> and to do that you want to start talking less okay stop talking and get her to start talking more okay now there's this rule in pickup which is the 90 10 rule okay but the actual rule is this it's 90 10 50 50 and then 10 90 okay what i mean by that is in the beginning of the interaction in the beginning of the conversation you want to be talking more okay because again she doesn't know you from a hole in the wall you want to show her that you're a high value male so you want to be doing 90 percent of the talking in the conversation and she uh, should be doing 10 percent okay but it needs to get to a point where it goes from you talking 90 percent she's talking 10 percent to a point where you're talking 50 percent of the time she's talking 50 percent of the time in the interaction okay to a point where now she's talking 90 percent and you're only talking 10 percent okay because again if she's talking more she's investing more and if she's investing more she's going to associate more value to that interaction so the key thing here is to get her to invest give her the room okay stop talking so much okay and let her be the one that's talking so much now when it comes to getting her to invest more into the conversation okay what you don't want to do is you don't want to be killing conversation topics okay like you don't want to be a conversation topic killer okay you don't want to be oh my word i don't know you don't want to be killing conversation topics because if you're killing conversation topics then again you are not giving her the opportunity to invest into the conversation okay and there's nothing bigger than a conversation topic killer than the following phrase. Okay, cool. Okay? Okay, cool. That is the biggest conversation topic killer. I used to be this guy. I used to be the okay, cool topic killer. Okay? What I mean is whenever she invests in the conversation, whenever she's talking about a certain topic wherever she's sharing a bit about herself okay the worst response you can ever give her is okay that's cool okay because what you are doing there is you are completely killing the conversation at you're killing it right there and then okay 
And then what you are forced to do is you are now forced to now go fish for a new topic. For example, she says, um, I play the piano. Okay, and you're like, wow, okay, cool. Okay, what do you expect her to say after that? You just said, cool. So she's not gonna, there's nothing much for her to say after that, okay? Or she says that, um, I wanna be uh, a psychologist, okay, in the future. And you're like, oh, okay, cool. Okay, because what are you doing there is you're killing the conversation, okay? She's not gonna invest more because there's nothing more for her to say. You pretty much killed it. Now what you are forced to do is now you are forced to now look for a new topic to talk about, okay? So now you go from topic, okay, cool, to the next topic, okay, cool, to the next topic, okay, cool, okay? And what happens is it's the idea of um, wide rapport versus deep rapport. What happens is you are not just going from surface level topics to surface level topics to what you should be doing is when you go to a topic, you find a topic that interests her and you go deep into it, okay? That's the idea of deep rapport. You go wide rapport, you fish for different topics. Once you find a topic that she's interested in, interested in, then you go deep into that topic. But you can't go deep into a topic if you kill it all the time, okay? If you're like, okay, cool. So the one thing that you do not want to do is you do not want to be killing the conversation with okay, cool, okay? So whenever she invests or whenever she adds to the conversation, what you want to do is you want to get her to keep investing more and more and more, okay? And the number one way to not make her invest is to say, okay, cool, okay? Well, that's cool, nice, okay? It's done, you're done from there. You have to go look for the next topic, okay? So be very, very careful about that. So the two main techniques that I want to talk about in this video to get her to invest more and to get her to uh, be able to invest more into the conversation are as follows. The first one is the type of questions that you ask her, okay? Now, you wanna be very, very conscious about the type of questions that you are asking her in order to invest more into the conversation, okay? And the types of questions that you want to be asking her in order to invest more are open-ended questions, okay? Now, what most guys do is they ask girls closed-ended questions, okay? And again, those closed-ended questions pretty much kill the investment that she could give in. So a closed-ended question is pretty much a question that either she has to answer with a yes or a no, or a question where she has to give a one-word answer, okay? So, do you like what you do? Yes, okay? Now you have to keep, the only answer she can give is yes, okay? You've asked her such a big question, okay? But the only answer she can give you is yes. So now she is forced to invest less in the conversation. So you don't want to be asking closed-ended questions. What you want to be asking are open-ended questions. Now, open-ended questions, okay, are questions where the answer that is given to that question, the open-ended question, is more than one word, okay? It's more of like a sentence, more the person has to explain more, okay? And again, if the person is talking more, it's more of a sentence, explaining more, the person is talking more, investing more, and again, if the person is investing more, then they will associate more value in that interaction. So you wanna ask her open-ended questions, okay? And open-ended questions, okay, are questions such as how, why, what, where, and when. Okay, those are more type of open-ended questions, okay? So, again, if the girl says that um, I play the piano, then you want to you wanna ask her questions like, oh, how did you get into playing the piano? Or why did you play the piano, okay? Or when was the first time you ever played the piano? Tell me about that experience. Or what is it about the piano that you like versus any other instrument, okay? Um, what, why, when, etc. Does that make sense? So you want to get her to talk more. And to get her to talk more, you want to ask her questions 
that are gonna pretty much guide her, okay, and get her to elicit more into the conversation, okay? So ask her open-ended questions, okay? Not closed-ended questions. Now, the next thing is, and this is a very, very, very big, big thing, okay? This is, this is very big, okay? Now, the thing with investment, okay? The thing with investment is when she invests more in the conversation, you want to reward her investment, okay? You don't want to punish it. And I th another thing I'm seeing guys do is when a girl, first thing is they're not giving her the room to invest in the first place, okay? And then when she finally does invest, she's finally investing in the conversation, then what guys do is they punish her for that investment, okay? And when you punish her for investing in the conversation, then what you are doing is, what you're telling her is, I don't want you to invest more. Stop it, okay? And when you punish her for investing, she's not going to want to invest again in the future. And again, you've killed it, okay? She's not going to invest. She's not investing. She doesn't perceive any value in that interaction. So very, very, very key thing here is, if you want her to invest more in the conversation, whenever she does invest, you want to reward her in investment and not punish it, okay? Stop punishing her investment, okay? A lot of guys where the girl says, um, I play the piano, okay? And the guy's like, fuck the piano. Fuck, I hate that you play the piano. Fuck that shit, man. The piano is the worst instrument ever. And it's like, oh my God, she's giving you a freaking golden nugget there. And now you are just killing it. You killed it, bruh. She doesn't want to talk about, you don't want to talk about the piano. She loves the piano. She can talk about the piano for hours. You've just killed it again. And now she's not going to want to invest because fuck, every time I share something about myself, this guy punishes me, okay? What you want to do is when she invests, you want to reward, okay? And this is where the idea of qualification comes into play, okay? Whenever she uh, invests, you reward her investment by qualifying her, okay? So for example, again, she says to you, I play, I play the piano. You're like, oh my God, that's awesome. I like that you play the piano. How did you get into playing the piano, okay? Or she says, um, I want to be a psychologist in the future. Oh, that's amazing. That's great. I love that. I love the fact that you want to be a psychologist. That's amazing. Not a lot of people want to do that. Um, why do you want to get into psychology? Tell me more. Please tell me more. That's interesting. Okay, you want to qualify her, you want to uh, reward her for that investment because again, if you reward her for that investment, okay, she's going to want to invest more and more in the future. Okay, it's the same as again, if I place a trade, okay, and let's say I invest a hundred dollars in that trade and that trade, I lose that money in that trade, then I'm highly likely not going to want to put another hundred dollars in that same trade. Versus if I place a trade and it go, I put $100 in the trade and that trade ends up positive, I make another $100, then fuck, I'm gonna put, maybe now I'm gonna put $200, I wanna put $1,000, okay? I wanna put more because I got a positive outcome from the first investment, okay? I got a reward from an, that investment, a return from that investment. And it's the same thing with the conversation is whenever she invests in the conversation, then you wanna reward. Stop punishing her, okay? The, the idea of um, punishing or giving an IOD, okay, or disqualifying her for that is more early on in the interaction where you wanna, when you wanna increase your value. But once you've got that value, okay, she sees that you've got value in, uh, in her eyes, okay, and she's investing into you because she sees that you have value, what you wanna do is you wanna reward, okay? Make, give, it, make, give her a positive, the positive emotions of when she invests, she gets rewarded, so she wants to invest again, okay? Don't punish her. Those are the two techniques. You wanna ask um, open-ended questions, number one, and number two, you wanna reward her for investing so that she is more and high, highly likely to invest more in the future in the conversation. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.